Hey, what's up guys? Sam here. So many of the world's resources are limited. Oil is one that pops in most people's minds. However, oil is actually not running out anytime soon. There is plenty left. It will just get harder and more expensive to extract. However, there are other things that are running out at a far more alarming rate. So in this list, I'll be showing you five things that the world is running out of. And as always, I'd like to give a big shout out to viewers Top Gaming and John Nichols for suggesting this video. Number 5. Water. Despite it covering 71% of the world, there is a water crisis. You see, 96% of the world's water is salty, meaning you can't drink it. Droughts and dry spells are drying up the small amount of fresh water we have. This means we need to constantly treat dirty water to make it safe to drink. That's fine, but in the future, there's a chance that naturally fresh water will only be affordable for the very rich. However, in places where they don't have water treatment plants, finding clean water is basically impossible. Hence why there are millions of people in this day and age still dying from dirty water. The sad truth is, even with basic equipment, dirty water can be cleaned using distillation, without the need of expensive filtration systems or chemicals. So what does the future hold for water? I highly doubt developed countries will ever go without safe water. But should it ever get to that stage, just remember you can create clean water from any source using distillation. Number 4. Antibiotics Antibiotics without a doubt changed modern medicine. They essentially kill or prohibit the growth of bacteria within a person. They are responsible for saving millions of lives and eradicating some very deadly diseases. However, we're now running into a problem. The actual supply of antibiotics isn't the issue, it's the fact that we've overused them. Years of overusing antibiotics, especially in livestock, has given birth to bacteria that's resistant. A more dangerous, more evolved bacteria that can't be killed using antibiotics. So what does this mean? Well, the World Health Organization has classed the threat as serious. And not one that's serious for the future, but one that's happening right now. For example, there's only one drug left that can effectively treat gonorrhea. So unless we find a new way of treating infections, we could be facing a very dark future when it comes to medicine. And even if we do, if we overuse it, there's a good chance that the bacteria will evolve to become resistant again. Number 3. Chocolate Imagine a world without chocolate, or a world where chocolate is really expensive. Well, I have some bad news as it looks like we're heading in that direction. You see, the majority of the world's cocoa supply comes from West Africa, and the chances are when you eat a piece of chocolate, it's a product made possible from child labor and slavery. Now, there are companies that only use ethical sources for their chocolate, but as you may know, they are quite expensive. The majority of the chocolate, unfortunately, is quite a sad and cruel business. Children as young as young as five are put to work in the heat, hand-picking the cocoa beans, and their income is less than 80 cents per day. Many of them never even see the money as they are forced to work through human trafficking and slavery. Thankfully, change is coming, and more and more authorities are cracking down on it. However, the change will result in the world's cocoa production seriously dropping, meaning chocolate can't be produced in the masses as it is now, and more likely become a very expensive luxury food. Number 2. Helium Helium is a fun gas, it makes your voice very high and children love it in their birthday balloons. So the fact that it's running out may make birthday parties a little more boring, but I'm sure we can live without it, right? Wrong. Sadly, helium is an element we really do need. Everything from LCD screens, MRI magnets and fiber optics require helium. Without it, our modern tech-driven world would be very different. Despite helium being the second most abundant element in the universe, there isn't much of it in our planet. It's the result of millions of years of radioactive decay deep within our planet, and as it rises to the crust, we can extract it. There are some reserves that are untapped, and technically we could recover some of the helium from our atmosphere, but that would be very expensive, which will most likely drive prices up for items that require helium in any way, but for now, it's still pretty cheap. Number 1. Phosphorus most people don't realize just how important phosphorus is. Without it, modern life would seriously struggle. You see, phosphorus isn't just important, but essential to all life on our planet. This includes animals and plants. The scary part is, we are running out. In fact, it's estimated by experts if we continue how we are, we may only have about 30 years left before it's all gone. We can extend this by being a bit more careful, but when it is all gone, our global food production will grind to a halt. 
and even more worrying, there's no replacement for phosphorus. So why are we running out? Again, it comes back to farming. The amount of livestock alone and what it takes to feed that livestock is unsustainable. Experts have been warning about this for decades. And if we don't make changes soon, the reality is, in our lifetime, we could face global levels of starvation. But the industry is making a killing, and profit is always more important to the people who can actually make a change. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't know already, I have launched a second channel called War 5. In this channel, I basically go over some of the most weird and bizarre news I can find and also talk about some of the trending topics within the YouTube community too. If you'd like to check it out, then I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Once again, thank you for watching and until next time, feed your mind.